Thank you, Simon. Uh, I came to have fun. You see, Yossi Vardy and me came to have fun this evening. Simon has an administ administrative role here, so he has a tie and a jacket, and I ho hopefully you will have fun too. Because I so to far, so fun. good. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank, of course, the students, and uh, the, there are several families here and family members and friends. You are uh, welcome. Let me say two things about it. Uh, Simon is, is right. The, this program is very important to our school because Israel is a small island, still a small island, and will be a small island for many years to come. And it's very important that it will be very well connected to the rest of the world, uh, m uh, mostly the U.S. or North America, Europe, and the Far East, but other markets as well. We have very strong connections to India, China, and many other small, small countries. <laughs> and this program is our gate for this kind of activities. And it is, uh, you, this MBA is being taught in a very similar way in, many, in most uh, good schools in the world. And we are no, we are no exception. Uh, but to do it right, you have, to, you have to do it right, in the sense that we have, uh, the world became a small world in the sense of globalization, you have to teach different cultures because all of us deal with different cultures. I'm going to the U.S. to meet uh, people three times a year now, uh, Europe, the Far East, and uh, every time I, I meet other people, it's a different culture. I have to use different ways of convince, convincing people that they'll connect with us, cooperate with us, and uh, it's multicultural. It's very different from one, from one country to the next. Cultures are very difficult to change. Actually, we cannot change. So we have to learn them, and we have to be good in doing business as Israelis in Israel, in the Far East, the U.S., Canada, Europe, and many other small countries. So, and this class is, is a good example for that. And uh, having students here from all over the world for us is very important. It, it helps our public uh, programs because... Many of our regular public program students can come and study with this group. It helps us have courses which, will be, which are being taught in English. It's very important to have many courses taught in English. We have a very large exchange program, and our exchange program is its not a chance that it is connected to this program because you meet each other a lot. This is a very important gate for us. So this program is a strategic asset to our school in the long term. And you guys better do well, because if you don't do well, we will not do well. So for, uh, from my perspective, it's very important that you guys will do well. You did well in this year. O obviously, some of you worked more, some worked less. Some of you did very, very well. Some of you just did just well. It doesn't make any difference. The, t the real test is the next five, six, seven, eight years. And I wish you guys very well in the next five, six, seven years in your work, in your family, and in your environment, because if you, for us, the test is, we will do well, provided you will do well. So I wish you, you and your families, and myself, that you guys will do very, very well, and this is going to be, will stay, will be a strategic asset for us, and you are invited to come back and help us. I meet some of you a lot, some of you I, don't, I didn't meet at all. Some of you I met a lot. And you are invited to come and talk to me if you, if you want to. If I can help you in whatever you need my help, I'll be very happy to do that. Simon is doing it all the time. And other faculty members, and there are several faculty members here in this direction, in this direction, will be very happy to help too. And do well. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce the next speaker, uh, Dr. Yossi Vardi. I met Yossi Vardi many years ago, before he became uh, an entrepreneur, and uh, I mentioned it to him before. I, already, I heard him several times. I met him in some places. He didn't even uh, notice me there. He's coming to places. I have two, uh, two of my uh, children. One of them is an engineer. The other one is studying for engineering. And he's coming for this kind of projects. Uh, when fourth-year engineering students in universities have their final project. Uh, my daughter did one of these projects, and I was her, uh, and it's, it, the work has to be done in groups. And her, group, her other person in the group was me. So I, about uh, three years ago, uh, I got 93 on the final project with her, by the way. 
And Yossi was there, uh, so I met, I, I met him there. I heard him a lot. Uh, Yossi is one of the forefathers of the Israeli high-tech sector. He is a very modest person. He'll come me, immediately after me and tell him, and we tell you that this is not true. So I'll tell you what I think about him. Uh, he is one of the forefathers of high-tech in Israel. He is always there. He is, he is looking for new ideas all the time. He is the ultimate entrepreneur. And uh, he did not start it in high-tech. He started it when he was working actually even in the government many, many years ago. And uh, hearing him several times talking about high-tech, always surprises, always some, kind, some angles I did not see before, and I'm sure you'll have a good time to hear him. So this is the ultimate entrepreneur. Yossi, floor is yours.